cocoa, snow, cozy blankets, and velvet. There are so many things about winter that I love. I'm Subi Zimmerman, and today I'm gonna to tell you about a lot of different winter backgrounds that you can use to post in your Instagram feed. First up, Wooden floors. Bees Wrap does such a good job at consistently using wooden floors in their feed. And it's not just about putting their products on the floor. They're very intentional about how they style the photo to match the caption or the new product push. They take it up a notch and they add winter inspired elements like cranberries, ferns, and oranges to capture the spirit of their product shot. They also do it here by using this cozy red scarf and garland. Their use of wooden floors is simple but effective with your attention always on their product first and foremost. And most importantly, their content is always consistent. Whether it's garland or cranberries on the wooden floor background, the image is still in line with the Bees Wrap brand now these are just a few examples of how you can use a wooden floor. I would love to know what kind of elements would you consider adding to stylize your photo shoot with wooden floors. The second winter photo idea is tinsel. You know, a touch of glam can be difficult to find when you're stylizing a photo, so why not use something shiny and fun like tinsel? I know you're probably thinking, Sue, the holiday season's over, but tinsel is still a great way to add an extra shine to your Instagram feed all winter long. Check it out. Tinsel photographs beautifully, especially faded in the background like OPI does here, and there's a ton of colors available at the craft store. So you should be able to find tinsel that matches your brand colors, which is really important if you're gonna keep your visual content consistent. You can also use tinsel as a prop in your photo shoot like Kelly does right here. While Kelly often uses bright pops of color in her Instagram feed, she keeps it consistent with her branding by using her fun silver moon and disco balloons along with the tinsel. All of these elements come together to create this fun photo that still feels very glamorous. So if you're trying to think about how you can add some shine to your images or a touch of glam, make sure you check out OPI and Studio DIY. Number three, wrapping paper. Whether it's the holidays or Valentine's Day, Wrapping paper is a fun, easy way to add a pop of color or fun pattern backgrounds to any photo. With so many types of wrapping paper to choose from, there's a good chance that you can find some right in your home that even matches your brand colors. So it's a win-win. Now, just like runner Kimmel does here with this playful tree made out of sneakers, it matches up to the rest of their Instagram account because they are most frequently using pastel paper backdrops, but every once in a while you'll see wrapping paper like this that is a little bit more playful with a punch of color. Now, here's a pro tip for you guys. If you are gonna use wrapping paper, I want you to make sure that it's not wrinkled or crinkled, because chances are, if it is, it will show up in your photo shoot and you don't want that to happen. If it is wrinkled or crinkled, you can iron it just like you would any wrinkly garment. Just be careful not to tear or burn the paper when you do. Number four, a winter snowfall. Now, since I live here in Boston, I see the snow frequently and I love the snow. It's probably my favorite winter background. And I just love the contrast that you can get from the white to what you're wearing. And it's obviously easier if you're in a colder city like me, but it really is worth bundling up, getting outside and capturing a winter snowfall as your background. Will Taylor does this beautifully with his account Bright Bazaar. With his bright scarves and jackets and high energy, 
Will really captures the fun of a fresh New York City snowfall. And it's very clear that he was intentional about wearing a bright red color jacket that would really pop against the white winter snowfall. Another fun way to use snowfall is in a video. Check out this video by Jean Wang. She's a stylist here in Boston. The effect is subtle but it still grabs your attention as you're scrolling through your feed, right? And even better, you don't have to be a professional videographer to make fun videos like these. So go ahead, grab your phone, take some pictures, get out there in the snow, even if it means freezing your fingers off to capture some winter background images for Instagram. I'm curious, if you live where it's cold and snowy like I do, would you be willing to freeze your fingers off like I did in this picture. Let me know in the comments below. The fifth winter photo idea is a cozy blanket. Now there's a good chance that you have this winter background lying around your house, especially if you have a cute baby like this that is wrapped up in a fab goose blanket. <laughs> now, if you're in a business that specializes in home goods like blankets, one of the best ways to use this background is by showing how much people love it. Just look at this photo, it's so cute. And it does a beautiful job showing just how much their customers love their products. Plus, it's a great way to share user-generated content. Another great way to use a blanket background is by using other winter-inspired elements like this photo does right here with Ever Everlasting Charm. I love this. This is so cool, so smart, where there's a warm mug poking out of this awesome thick cable knit blanket. Everlasting Charm does a great job at not only using blankets as their background, but also by using other winter inspired elements. Um, the blankets add the extra texture to their photos and it really helps to capture the cozy vibes that people really like to feel in the winter time. So next time you're looking for some winter inspiration, go ahead and grab your cozy blanket and share it. Number six, great winter backdrop is a brick wall. Maybe it's painted like this one with graffiti all over it, or maybe it's just a simple brick wall like this one from Tatley. Just look at what Tatley did here with their collection of adorable tattoos. Not only do the clothespins allow them to show more of their product, but it's also clearly a wall for the storefront, inspiring customers to come in and check it out. Okay, now that you have some great ideas for adding a winter background to your Instagram feed, here is a Ninja tip that you might not have thought of. Try using a signature background. Using the same background consistently will keep you memorable so that whenever anyone sees that backdrop, they will think of you. This is my rug in my office and I even came up with a unique hashtag for it, hashtag Subi Backdrop. So I challenge you to come up with your own unique hashtag when you're consistently using the same backdrop. Okay, you've now learned how to update your Instagram feed for winter by capturing the cozy feeling of the season no matter where you are. Just remember that whichever background you choose, it should be consistent with your branding. Don't just use a background because you notice that your competitors are using it. I'd love for you to comment below with which one of these winter photo ideas inspired you today and that you're gonna use to freshen up your Instagram feed this season. Did you like this video? Go ahead and hit thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments below what winter wonderland background are you gonna be using in your next Instagram post? And if you're new to Instagram and you're still trying to figure this all out, I've got you covered. There is a free Instagram strategy guide waiting for you in the link right below this video. And I'll see you next time.